Good evening, beloveds. Um, yeah, probably shouldn't leave the pink cat ears on. Um, they were a gift from somebody at the Texas Renaissance Festival. So I didn't do this in the morning simply because I went to the Texas Renaissance Festival at the crack of dawn <laughs> this morning. Um, and I said I would do this and I was like, I was going to wait and do it at nine o'clock tonight. Cause like we came home a little early and, um, I fell asleep on the couch. So I'm going to do this now and then I'm going to go to bed. All right. It is October 29th. Our title is what is faith? I almost don't need my glasses to do this. The light is very bright. Okay. And our author is Johnny Coleman. This is from Open Your Mind and Be Healed from 1997. Um, all right. Faith is the perceiving power of the mind linked with the power to shape substance, the power to do the seemingly impossible. Charles Fillmore. Faith is absolute certainty. Faith is trust without reservation. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 11.1 1. It is the confidence, confident assurance that something we want is going to happen. It is the certainty that what we hope for is waiting for us, even though we cannot see it up ahead. Hebrews 11 from the Living Bible. The other one was from the King James Version. Faith is the power to focus on God the good. Faith is an idea what soil is to the, a seed. Faith is an idea in divine mind embodying hope, trust, belief, and accept, expectancy. Faith sees. Faith perceives the possibility of the result long before there is any visible sign. Faith is the ability in you to see the condition healed regardless of what is being manifested. Faith is your spiritual eye. It looks within and perceives the good in the midst of the appearance. Faith knows. Faith is more than idle hoping or believing. Faith knows the truth that God's outpouring of itself is irrepressible, infinite, and absolute. When you are consciously aware of this, your faith grows courageously and trusts God to get the best out of the worst. When in doubt, faith is out. So she quoted the King James Version Bible of uh, Hebrews 1 and then turned around and quoted King, the King uh, Hebrews 1 from a different Bible. And that's one of the things that I was talking about the other day. And, and it's something that I've done myself where I've gone in and I've looked it up and I've looked at this, the exact same thing up in a couple of different Bibles to see which one turns the ear more. It's like, okay, so the King James Version does it this way. And then the, uh, the Catholic Bible says it this way, which one resonates more with me which one makes more sense to me which one sparks that faith within me that hope within me um and absolutely faith is seeing without eyes it is see the spiritual eye it's knowing that whatever it is that we are praying for already exists in the mind of god that's why we pray in present tense. We know it already exists. Therefore, we are willing to say, yes, this is what I want. And then listen to the guidance to get to what we want. If courage is the definition of being scared and doing it anyway, faith is similar in that it is, hey, you know what? I don't know what's going to happen, but I trust that it's going to be okay in doing, going ahead and doing it anyway. So, um, I, 
I mean, I don't know that I can contribute much more to this because she told you exactly what she thought faith is. And more importantly, why faith is important. Uh, because sometimes if we didn't have faith, we couldn't get through. We wouldn't know what it was that we were after. Um, and sometimes we, when, especially when we're reaching for the stars, it's faith that, that gives us the, the courage and the push to do it. It's like, I know that this is going to be good. I know that this is going to be okay. I know that this is possible. Even when everybody around me is telling me that it's impossible. Faith is telling me, nope, nope, this is possible. Try it. Try for it. Strive for it. Reach for it. Um, yeah. Faith is more than idle hoping or believing. It knows the truth that God is outpouring itself. And that's, and that's, I think that's what faith is. Faith is knowing that God is not a judging personality, but that it, that it is a patterning and intelligence that exists in the fullness of its creation at every point in fullness at, of its creation. Therefore, there is no point where, you know, God isn't. That's, that's, that's one of those things about faith. It's like, I know the fullness of God exists right here, right now within me. And it's not a personality that is busy judging me, but a patterning intelligence that, that is having experiences through me and is thrilled to have those experiences through me. Um, and that in the end, it's going to be okay. Okay. I may be completely off the rails and it's because I'm tired and that's okay. I had a great day today. Uh, but we, we did opt out of the fireworks. We were like, you know what? We've, we've done everything we want to do. We're, we're going to get home. Uh, and so we were back on our side of town before the sun went down and I got to see a scrap of a rainbow when we came home. That was really nice. I did catch a picture of it. It was just a little bitty picture. Like I saw more of it. Everybody thought it was crazy until he saw the one point where I, we could get a picture of it. And everybody else went, Oh, I see it. Yeah. 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 So, um, all right. So the mission today, should we choose to accept it? Hang on. Let me glance this back open. Ah, <laughs> Faith is the ability in you to see the condition healed regardless of what is being manifested. Faith is knowing that knowing the truth that God is outpouring himself in is irresistible, infinite, and absolute. And I think that's it. The mission today, should we choose to accept it, is to recognize that God is constantly outpouring itself into us. What does that look like? Who knows? It's going to be different for everybody. So what does it look like for you? What does it look like that God is outpouring itself through you? Think about it. Think about it. All right. I'm going to do this again in the morning. So I'm going to go ahead and not yawn where you can see it. Just in case you end up watching this later. Um, I am a yawning monster. It is after, it's around 10 o'clock at night, but I got, mm, I'm done. I'm done. Pushed my knees far past what I thought they were capable of today and it's good. So you've got your mission to, to, to revel in the outpouring of God in your, in, into yourself. Uh, the other mission is the self-care mission. The, the um, spiritual practice of self-care. Do something loving for yourself, something kind for yourself, something compassionate for yourself. Well, in my case, that looks like going to bed really early. My Fitbit's going to go, oh, you're going to go to bed on time. Because my, my suggested bedtime is way earlier than my actual bedtime. I'm a bit of a night owl, so that can be a challenge. And, um, yeah. So love, practicing love, kindness, and compassion on yourself. Take a day, go play, and then go to bed early. That's what it can look like. 
it looks like taking a break, taking a nap, taking a walk, taking a deep breath before you speak, especially to yourself. I'm watching the two cats <laughs> wrestle on the ground. It's quite funny. Um, it's just in general being kind, loving, compassionate. It is putting your oxygen mask on before you help your neighbor. That's what I'm talking about. It's eating dessert first. It is going out of your way to make the ordinary a little extraordinary a little more often. It's using the fancy dishware on a Tuesday instead of waiting for a holiday. It's wearing the fancy clothes to, you know, a mundane event and just dressing up because you want, you want to feel pretty, you know, or handsome, whichever one. Uh, it looks like, yeah, going to bed early. Even, I think I have something to do in the morning, so I have, I'm going to leave my alarm set. Not necessarily for six o'clock though. I think I may bump it back a bit. Um, and resting which is always super important. Uh, so whatever it looks like for you, please practice on yourself. You are your own best test subject. You, you get immediate feedback. So you, it's more important to practice on yourself, but also one of the main reasons for practicing on yourself is because you're, you're a beloved child of God. You deserve your own love. You deserve your own kindness. You deserve your own compassion. So practice on yourself. For, for that reason. And I definitely want you to create a habit so that no matter what you do, it's all, it's, you respond to everything lovingly, kindly, and compassionately. It's the way we make, make a world that works for everybody. All right. The rest of the suggestions are the same one, the same ones that I give you every day. Do something to engage your mind and your body. Drink plenty of water. Hydration is super important. Get that early in your day bright light from seven to nine. I got a whole lot of sunlight and I'm hoping I didn't get a sunburn. I did put some sunscreen on stuff and tried to stay out of the direct sunlight as much as possible. Um, so I encourage you to do all of that. Uh, and then open the windows of your soul. Allow the breath of heaven to remind you, you do live in heaven right here, right now. It is all around us all the time. Oh, you okay, baby? Foster? You probably hear that terrible coughing sound too. Um, so open the windows of your soul. Allow the breath of heaven to remind you, you do live in heaven right here, right now. It's all around you all the time. I know I just said that and the cat distracted me. So um, the easiest way to do this, the easiest way to do this, look for the good and praise it. Foster, you okay, babes? I'm, I need to go check on the cat. All right. Look for the good and praise it. All right. Uh, we are Creative Life, Spiritual Center, Creative Life Spark. I'm the Running Rev Ryan on the social medias that I am on. I commend to you the YouTube channels and the Facebook pages. Thousands and thousands of hours of content. Okay? Oh, you okay? <laughs> Did you just get a little overexcited wrestling with Gabby? Okay, he's behind, now at my feet and he clearly feels better. So, I uh, guess he just needed to cough it out. Um, email info at creativelife.org that gets you on the constant contact and I don't know what else I'm supposed to say here <laughs> so have a great day a wondrous day, a fantastic day, a magical day an enchanted day, a wonder filled day an awesome day a have a whole lot of fun day a go for a good walk day a enjoy the feast day, a wear the pink cat hand, cat ears with glee day, a, a loving day, a good day. And if that is too much pressure, simply have a day. You are enough just as you are. You're a beloved child of God. You are a brilliant light. You are a divine spark. You are spirit in motion. You are God in action. Or as Reverend Jesse likes to call us, you are a godly. All right, beloveds. And normally I would say Reverend David will be on with you around 5 p.m. 
but he was on at 5 p.m. I'll be back with you around 9 a.m. Uh, I'm going to go vote in the morning, so, you know, I'm going to do my civic duty. Uh, take care of yourself. Know that you are loved, and I will see you next time. All right, beloveds. Have a good night. And know that you're loved.